Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice. Today is Wednesday. Very nice. And uh, well, some of uh, the people are not working tomorrow. Are you working tomorrow or are you resting? Working. This are right. Yeah. Me too, I'm working. And actually I'm working on, on Friday as well, but that's the way it is. So as I was telling you before, uh, we're going to have the formal notification tomorrow about Friday. So let's wait for that on the WhatsApp. And uh, before we move on with the class, uh, we were speaking these days about products and pricing, things like that. So uh, I want to ask you, uh, what is a product that you have always wanted to have? Maybe something that when you were a kid, uh, you wanted to have or and no, you never had it. So do you remember a product that you always wanted and you still don't have? So it's about a product uh, that you always wished and you don't have. I, I, I always wish, uh, I always want a uh, Super Nintendo and oh. never, I never, uh, I never have it. In my a Super Nintendo, that sounds very good. I remember I had one of the, of the first ones, uh, Nintendo, but uh, that is a, a different one, right? It's not the first one that they launched or is the same is the second generation ah okay is the one with a with a gun for the duck the duck hunter is uh is, is for uh nintendo original nintendo ah so the second one uh, the the most famous game for uh, Super Nintendo, for me, it's Donkey Kong Country. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Very good, Donkey Kong Country. So that's good. And uh, by any chance, do you know if they still, I mean, are you able to buy right now? I, I know that there are a lot of retro things that you can buy, but I don't know if that specific product is possible to, to buy right now. Hmm. Uh, and in this time, I not I don't have much time for playing uh, in video consolas, but okay. uh, but uh, yes, yes, the if 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 um, I want um, si lo quisiera comprar lo puedo comprar. Ah, okay. So they are available. Interesting. Very good. <laughs> Nice. My, 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 uh, my children, my children dream. <laughs> yeah, that happens, right? When when we are kids, sometimes we want something. Sometimes many things, because I remember that I wanted a uh, He Man, and I never got an original one, just copies, just uh, the ones that. <laughs> are in, uh, but I have this one. In the so. downtown, in the downtown, I remember a uh, sales. Uh, he man, uh, Chinese he man. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, those are the ones that are popular, right? The Chinese ones, but <laughs> he man, mm. I get that one. Very good, perfect. Any other person wants to share uh, any product that you always wanted but you never had? I prefer the games, uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, the classic games, Batman. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, this is uh, <laughs> my my uh, young. Uh... <laughs> okay, but those were uh, video games. Video games, yes. Okay, very good. Interesting. So. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes it's difficult because video games are kind of expensive, right? But 
when you invest in that one, I mean, there are a lot of hours that you spend that one. And right now, do you play video games or you don't do that? No, no, no. El is a, a, we have the uh, the games, uh, uh, but uh, son convertidos a, a, a ¿cómo se llama? A, a plataformas donde uno los puede jugar desde la computadora, okay? Oh, okay. So you play with them uh, on the computer with a different platform. That is like, uh, I remember that is, yeah, I, I know that, that kind of things, yeah. Yes, only is the is uh, very difficult uh, uh purchase the controls. Uh, no, 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 no funciona con cualquier control también. Ah, okay. So you have to have a joystick. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, joysticks. Yeah, and and all the video games are very, uh, very popular. I believe that they will be always uh popular because. I mean, there are stories, and the good thing about the video games is that you can be part of, of it, right? So it's not like watching a movie that you just are you the expectator. Sometimes you decide many things. Yeah. So that is an interesting point. I understand. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Any other person wants to share any product that you always wanted but you never had? It can be any kind of things. For example, I remember that I, I wanted a pair of shoes. I really love tennis shoes, you know. I, I really love them. When I was a kid, my mom, she didn't buy me. A, she only bought formal shoes, you know. So now that I work, I have a lot of tennis shoes. But there were uh, two shoes, two pair of shoes that I always wanted and I never had. And the problem is that they don't do that anymore. So I have all the kind of shoes, but I never had exactly those ones that I wanted. So that happens. Okay. I always and wanted to buy a, a electric guitar, but, oh. but uh, there was a little problem that I can't play guitar. <laughs> so <laughs> so now uh, uh, when you start to work, uh, you don't have enough time and you have to solve a lot of problems and maybe como vas perdiendo la gana de, de lo que siempre quizás quisiste porque uh, I think now I, I can I can buy an electric guitar but I don't have time and, and I have to I have to dedicate a lot of time to to work and my family. But when I was a kid, I always uh, dreamt uh, with play electric guitar. In my actually what you say is true. the time but we have the money right so that is a very interesting part of life yeah yeah now that i can buy it i don't have time so <laughs> así que ya deserté con mi guitarra eléctrica <laughs> <laughs> grow uh, up grow up broke our dreams yeah you are right sometimes it's difficult right but a man has to do what a man has to do. So, uh, but it's always, uh, I mean, I know that we have a lot of work, uh, we have responsibilities, we have family, uh, but if you have the time, my friends, my best advice for you is to, to do what you want to do, maybe little by little as a hobby, right? For example, I always wanted a motorbike all the time, all the time. Now I have a motorbike. And it's very nice when on Saturdays, I mean, I just go out and, and drive my ride my motorbike, and it's, it's amazing. I know it's dangerous, 
but I do it as a hobby, no, not as a transportation. Uh, also, I play the guitar, and I know it's a very relaxing thing. So, yes, yes, it's a, there are things that I believe everybody wants to do sometimes, and there is always chance. So if you have the money, a little time is fine. Maybe you are not going to, to do or to play a lot, but a little bit is good enough. One hour on Sundays, that is that is good enough. It's fair enough because, uh, I mean, that's why we work here, right? Because, uh, yes, we want to pay many things and we want to do a lot of things for the family, but also we need to do things for us, right? Interesting, right? And, uh, yeah, as we were saying, before we had a lot of time, a lot of energy, but no money. Now we have money and no time. One day, maybe we're going to have the time and we're going to have the money, but not the energy anymore. So <laughs> that is part of life. That's right? true. That is it. It's a life paradox. Cuando tienes dinero, no tienes tiempo. Y cuando ya tienes dinero y tiempo, no tienes la energía. Yes, when, when Oseas get uh, liberty <laughs> financial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, that, that's what I'm telling you. I, I know that responsibilities are very important. Uh, and uh, of course, that's why we want to have a family, grow, work. For example, what we are doing right now, I mean, this is a big sacrifice. You go to work and then you come to class, right? Yeah. And of course, you do this because you want to to get more chances, more opportunities, and something necessary that also is going to help you not only for work, for but for many things. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's very important also that if you had a dream sometime, a little dream, have the chance to do it. A little time, a little, I mean, if you buy, for example, in your case, taking your, your example, if you want a guitar, I mean, there are guitars that you can buy for uh, not that much money, Myself, as I was telling you, I play the guitar and I just bought a guitar, a beautiful guitar, a white guitar. I always wanted a white, a white guitar in $50. That was good enough. Uh, and maybe, I mean, one hour on Sundays, you play the guitar and then you will be happy. So that is something that we do. Any other person wants to share about the any product that you always wanted to have? Yes, did you hear me? Yeah. When I was a child, I wanted a pair of roller skates. Ah, okay, roller skate, yeah, roller blade. Interesting. So, yeah, it's never too late. I mean, maybe just five minutes every every Saturday, and that would be good enough. So, and now, I mean, there are there is a lot of security, right? So you can go out sometimes to parks and things like that. So. It might be a very good opportunity. Uh, Rene, you were going to say something. Uh, we can hear you. Uh, we cannot hear you. I don't I guess you are muted. Okay. Okay. It's the hobby, the hobby is start on. For the exercise is very important for health. Yes. Uh, the problem is uh, wake wake up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, Twenty one days is necessary. Continue. Um, Continue 20, 20 days, 21 days. Si ya lo hizo en 21 días, ya se le hizo costumbre. Eso es lo que fue. Yeah, to create a habit. Right. Yeah. El 5 de diciembre, 5 December, two years. The practice in all, uh, every day. Every day, one right. hour. 10 hours for week practice and, and and sport 
in, in mountain bike is necessary. Necessary, yeah. uh, mm. yes. Is, uh, como se dice, is, is hit, es más barato prevenirlo en ejercicio que, que, que comprar medicinas y, y enfermarse. <laughs> Hay un dicho por ahí. Yeah, actually that is true. Uh, it's cheaper to to prevent something to happen than to fix it, right? Yeah, and, uh, and that is also very true. I mean, again, time is, is, is very difficult, right? Because since we have a lot of responsibility, but sometimes, I mean, uh, what I have learned is that life is very short. I mean, We spend Monday to Friday working, doing many things, at least on, uh, on the weekend. I know that you have to spend time with your family and things like that, but let's say one, two hours just for you, for you and do what you want to do. That is that is also important, right? If you want to cook. What happened at uh, uh, 5 half? 5.30, my. 5.30, yes. 5.30 every day. Yeah, that is the little sacrifice, but I believe that when you do the exercise, you feel very nice, right? Yeah. So that is it. I mean, yeah, if you want to do tomorrow, something. Huh? Tomorrow, no. Uh, the day after tomorrow, uh, it's a competence for the 14.2 kilometers and And the uh, Picacho, okay. Picacho San Salvador. Vamos a hacer una vuelta de 42 kilómetros de montaña el 15 de septiembre. Imagine, that is a lot, 42 kilómetros. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I run, I run two blocks and I'm, oh my God, I'm dying, right? So <laughs> I need to do exercise. I do exercise, but right now I don't have time. But that's that's another thing. I mean, I'm going to find the time next week. Next week, I'm planning to restart that one because it's a very important. As you say, um, to think about your body is something very, your health, right? Eat good, eat fine, cook, uh, to do anything that you want to do that is something in a balance. That is one of my favorite words uh, in life, balance. Yeah, you have to work, but also you have to rest. Yeah, you have to spend time with your family, but also you have to spend time with yourself. Uh, yeah, you have to spend money, but also you have to try to save money. I know it's difficult, but you have to try it out. So balance is key in, in everybody's life. Yes. Very good, perfect. Anybody else wants to share? Okay, so let's start with the class then. For first of all, we're going to check the attendance as we always do. Let's see, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Here, present. Good. Ernesto Jose Andrade Medina. Here, teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. I'm here, teacher. Present, teacher. Okay, good, good. Got you. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Here, teacher. Hello. Eh, Mónica Wendy Avalos Girón. I guess you have problems with the audio, but I know. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present teacher. Good. 
Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Este teacher. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Yes, teacher. Good. But I, I, I want to tell you that I only, in this class, I only hearing um, because I have a incapacity uh, for a uh, tooth extraction. And oh, it's I so uncomfortable to speak. I understand. No worries. I hope you get better. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Sandra Janira Gomez Romero. Okay, Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Oh. Very good, perfect. So, uh, we're going to continue with the class. Uh, we are going to continue with the topic that we were checking a few uh, this week, that is pricing and all the studies. Uh, we're going to start with a video again, so we can check it out. Uh, tell me what you understood. Check pronunciation. Check the way the people speak. This is a really good exercise, so we can listen and get many. So I'm going to run the video, and uh, you will have time for you to check it out, okay? Let me see here. here. Okay, here we go. Is an essential ingredient in the success of any brand. As it advertising is an essential ingredient in the success of any brand, as it allows you to introduce your brand to the public and attract new customers. There are many different advertising options, but for them to work, they need to be supported by a strategy that fits in with the overall objectives of your brand. In this video, we will explain different types of advertising strategies and 10 examples that you can apply in your company. Let's jump into it. What is an advertising strategy? An advertising strategy is an action plan designed to increase sales of certain products or services, attract new customers, and invite existing ones to make multiple purchases. An advertising strategy is part of the brand's marketing plan, so it must be aligned with the company's objectives. It is also essential to take into account the branding, tone, and brand identity so that the ads are cohesive with the overall marketing strategy. What types of advertising strategies are there? There are many possible advertising strategies as each brand situation identity, and objectives are unique. To get an idea of the possibilities, let's take a look at how HubSpot classifies the three major types of advertising strategies. One, content advertising. This advertising strategy seeks to directly influence consumers through different channels with a direct and clear message that aims to reach as many people as possible. Although it has similar characteristics to content marketing, it is not the same since it is more direct and more focused on the brand. Within content advertising, we can distinguish the following different subtypes informative advertising. This focuses on showing the brand and the value it can bring to potential customers. It is usually based on rational values. Comparative advertising. This focuses on comparing your brand with the competition in order to reinforce the characteristics that differentiate it and convince consumers that your brand can provide more benefits. Although this can be very effective, you should be careful when basing your claims in order to not run into legal problems. Emotional advertising. If informative advertising is based more on rational factors, emotional advertising seeks to produce an emotional reaction. It can be very effective in influencing purchasing decisions since we know that these have a strong unconscious component that is based on how people feel about a product or service. Two, pull advertising. This advertising strategy is typical of brands that are already well known and well positioned in the market. Instead of going after customers, this strategy aims to keep the brand in the consumer's mind and propel people to go towards it. It focuses on identification with the brand and long-term loyalty. 3. Push Advertising This advertising strategy is more suitable for new products or services since it seeks to introduce a brand, product, or service to consumers in order to position the brand and generate sales. The push strategy can use different channels from traditional media to social ads. In many cases, it goes hand-in-hand -hand with pricing strategies. For example, offering cheaper launch prices to generate an initial critical mass of customers. It is also common for push advertising to go hand-in-hand -hand with content marketing so that a new brand can establish its authority early on and position itself as an expert in the sector. Now that you've learned what it is, let's take a look at 10 examples of advertising strategies. 
One, email marketing. Email marketing is an advertising strategy that is as strong as ever and has reinvented itself over and over again. According to some studies, the ROI of this channel is close to $40 for every dollar invested. In addition to its spectacular ROI, another great advantage of email marketing is that it can be adapted to all types of situations, brands, and campaigns from the first steps of lead generation to long-term loyalty. No wonder it's one of the preferred advertising strategies for brands. Two, SEM. Paid advertising on search engines such as Google, also known as SEM, consists of positioning ads targeted to certain keywords. This means when a user searches for a term related to your brand, your ad can appear in a prominent position among the results. SEM is one of the most popular advertising strategies in the digital environment as it allows you to directly target users with a high purchase intent based on their searches. In addition, it is a very versatile strategy as it allows you to reach very different audiences at different stages in the buying process. Three, social ads. This advertising strategy consists of launching paid ads through the advertising platforms on different social networks, usually through a pay-per-click model. What makes this work well are the great targeting possibilities. Keep in mind that social networks have access to a large amount of data about their users, so you can segment very specific audiences based on factors such as their life situations or interests. In addition, you can also use these platforms to get in touch with users who already know your brand by importing your databases or installing a data pixel. This allows you to create audiences similar to your visitors, leads, or customers so that we target just the users most likely to convert. 4. Amazon Advertising Amazon ads offer pay-per-click advertising that offers some unique advantages as an advertising strategy. On one hand, Amazon has a wealth of information about users' shopping preferences. But above all, this platform allows you to place ads right where and when users are most likely to buy, which results in higher conversion rates. 5. Native Advertising Native advertising is a format that consists of placing paid content in media that adapts in form and function to the environment it appears in. Although it must be clearly identified as advertising, it is integrated into its context in a much less intrusive way than other ad formats. It also provides valuable content to users, which encourages them to consume it voluntarily. Number six, influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is an advertising strategy that relies on the authority of users with a strong presence on social media to promote a product or service to their followers. Previously, there was a tendency to value the number of followers that a person had above anything else, and campaigns were created to reach the highest number of users. Now, the trend is to value the level of engagement an influencer has and look for experts in niches with smaller audiences, like micro-influencers. 7. Discounts and Promotions Discounts and promotions are based on offering a product or service at a lower price than usual for a limited time. This creates a sense of urgency that encourages users to buy. This advertising strategy can be very useful to generate a critical mass of customers at the launch of a product or to boost sales in the short term, but abusing it can lead to a decrease in the perceived value of the product. Number 8. Guerrilla Marketing Guerrilla marketing is one of the most original and innovative advertising strategies since it is based on the use of unconventional techniques techniques to achieve maximum diffusion at a low cost, but you need to get your creative juices flowing if you really want to make an impact with this strategy. Number 9. Contest and Sweepstakes Similar to discounts and promotions, contests and sweepstakes serve to generate interaction and attract interest in the brand in the short term. It is not a new advertising strategy since brands have been using it for a long time, but it has experienced a recent boost thanks to social media. Many brands turn to contests and sweepstakes to increase their follower base and engagement. Of course, these events should reflect the broader objectives of the brand. And number 10, loyalty programs. Loyalty programs are an advertising strategy that is not aimed at acquiring new customers, but at getting existing customers to repeat their purchase frequently and even become brand ambassadors. There are different types of loyalty programs, such as points or tiered programs. In all of them, the objective is to generate a long-term relationship with the brand and improve the lifetime value of the customer. In turn, this allows brands to reduce the cost of acquiring new customers. And that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you learned anything new, like the video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos about digital marketing. See you next time. Very good. So what did you get from the video? Teacher, uh, the complicated, but the 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 Shannon Shannon is is uh, the person who 
uh, show the, the, the video and um, speak very, very fast, but um, your, your video is about the top 10 types of advertising strategies. Um, the, 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 the top 10 uh, for me is a very, very interesting uh, number for Amazon advertising uh, because uh, uh, excuse me, Amazon advertising is Amazon is very very good example for this for this uh, type, and the other the other type for me is very very interesting. Um, the loyalty program, the last the last type, because uh, the inf influencer is very very important for this type and the long term relationships. Uh, but uh, the video is very, 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 very good. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You are right. She speaks very, very fast. I believe that she speaks in a normal way. The problem is that since we are learning, it's kind of what does she say, right? It's like when you are speaking in Spanish and you are speaking very fast and whatever. And maybe uh, other people, they say, oh, this is too fast, right? Uh, but it's a very good thing because then we are able to get some things there and very good about the advertising yeah the amazon one is is a very nice one so good uh any other comments or opinion on the video yes uh, teacher uh, mm -hmm. of my camera i have a problem with my no problem uh, you... you can hear me yeah yeah we can hear you Thank you. Uh, he is uh, the the individual is uh, uh, talking very fast. It's uh, difficult uh, to understand, but I uh, I understand uh, it's a different strategy for a uh, uh, proper uh, for a uh, additional uh, brand and in in. Uh, included included in the mark uh, new uh, customers and um, uh, have uh, many many uh, uh, purchase uh, I don't know. Okay. so yes I mean advertising is one of the most important things that is going on nowadays right since the the days of the radio it became very, very popular with the TV. And now with the social media, definitely. I mean, you can see amazing things advertising them and very creative. So those are very good. Perfect, thank you. Any other comments or, or what did you get from the video? Is my comment is the deal with different types of the advertising. You see, for example, the, uh, Amazon advertising, discounting promotion, is a loyalty program, is a different areas, is a social media, is, is, is very interesting. Uh, the different type the, of the, the advertising, it, it, this is my opinion. Okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, speaking about advertising, do you remember any advertising from El Salvador that uh, is interesting right now? In Salvador, is a uh, social media. Okay. Uh, okay. Social media. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so uh, uh, Ernesto, go ahead. No, uh, uh, as, as you question, teacher, uh, I remember uh, uh, currently we're very, very fa famous, the influencer marketing in the, in the Instagram, Facebook, uh, uh, a, pers a famous person uh, showed a discount and promotion about the product or service. In El Salvador, it's, it's common, I think. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I mean, nowadays is something that is going on, right? 
people are getting famous just because of the followers, right? And they get money and people are looking for them. The world is different, definitely. So um, I prefer the old way. I prefer uh, TV advertising and things like that. But uh, yeah, that is going on right now. So it's something the, that is The other way. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit old fashioned. But, but anyway, so that is what we have right now. Okay, so let's continue with the class. Uh, so these are factors that affect pricing. So we have internal factors and some others. Let's see, we're gonna start reading with uh, Rene Molina. Okay, there are several of basic factors that affect the pricing for almost all company and industries. This can be categories, categories, categorized, categorized, and internal factor and external factor. Internal factor. These are those elements that are under the control of the organizations. However, however, it is a bit of vital, vital to note uh, that the throat they may be within within the company's domain of control changing 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 they may not be as easy as it seems for example production process change may require significant cost time in process residence Redesign. Uh, redesign intern internal factors include fixed and variable cost, company objects, objectives and strategies, make market segments tar targeting in position decisions. Very good, perfect. Thank you. So yes, there are uh, besides the strategies and beside the the kind of um, ways for us to to think about the pricing, there are some other factors that affect, right? So it says factors that affect pricing. There are several basic factors that affect pricing for almost all companies and industries. What is almost? Cassie. Very good, that is it. These can be categorized as internal factors and external factors. And of course, the first one is internal factors. These are those elements that are under the control of the organization. So of course, the internal are inside of the company, right? Are things that the company can decide on what to do or how to do. However, it is vital to know that though they may be within the company's domain of control, changing them may not be as easy as it seems. Okay, so this is interesting because internal factors means that, yeah, the company decide how to do something, but sometimes changing those things is difficult, right? It's not just, we're going to change the production or we're going to change the location of the factory. Uh, that is, that is a, a lot of money. Best. So it says, for example, production process changes may require significant cost, time, and process redesign. What is redesign? Rediseñar. Very good. So redesign is not easy. Right? In the plans, in the ideas, is easy, but to change things in the processes. Sometimes it's, it's very expensive. Internal factors include fixed and variable costs. So yeah, fixed like, for example, uh, the rent of a building or variable costs like the energy or the water and the other thing. Company objectives and strategies. I mean, yeah, we can change the objectives, but that is going to change the whole company right? or the mission or the vision of the company. Market segments, targeting, and positioning decisions. So all these 
things are internal factors that can impact the pricing. Uh, not easy to change sometimes, but at least in control for the company. Uh, do you have any questions here? Okay, let's move to the other one, external factors. Uh, let's see. Um, Juan Roberto, could you please help me with this one? External factors, those factors which have a significant impact on pricing decisions but are not completely controllable by the company are known as external factors. Since these are very important in the, in the pricing method, a company can exert some control by conducting detailed analysis to understand in depth how these factors will behave. External factors may include competitors, target market behavior, and willingness to pay, industry trends, industry or legal constraints. Very good, perfect. So, uh, yeah, the other, on the other hand, we have external factors, right? So those factors which have a significant impact, pricing decisions, but are not completely controllable by the company are known as external factors outside of the company. So we can change, for example, the, the, the market outside, the demand. We can change the government that sometimes controls the market. So it's, it's impossible, right? Since these are very important to the pricing method, a company can exert. Uh, anybody knows what is exert? No. Okay, except is like an effort, an effort that you do to accomplish something, to do something. So uh, a company can uh, make a lot of work, something like that. Uh, some control by conducting detailed analysis. Uh, okay, so uh, it's not, this word is analysis, and the other one is analysis. So it's different because this is, a noun and the other one is a verb. So you can see the difference there. So, uh, and yes, the company, they can create some analysis. So you, they understand what is going on, but they can change, right? And then it says to understand in depth, what is in depth? Okay. In depth is like when you research and and get to know the the causes, the real causes of something. What is causing something? So, uh, in Spanish, is like when you uh, investigate profundamente, so go into deep, right? Something like that. How this factor will behave? Do you remember what is behave? Comportamiento. Very good. So yes, we can create uh, some researches about how this factor affects the pricing, the market, the demand, many other things. Other than that, we cannot change some of those. And then it says external factors may include competitors. Definitely, we cannot change the competitions, the company, their policies, their products target market behavior and willingness to pay. Okay, so we know what is behavior, but what is willingness? Anybody knows what is willingness? This is actually very common in it. When you say, for example, imagine this example. Imagine that uh, I say to you, my friends, uh, we are going to have class on Sunday. And then some of you say, I am willing, yeah, I am willing to come to English classes on Sunday. So willing is like, yes, I can do that one. Maybe it's not what I want to do, but yes, I'm willing to do it. 
It's like in Spanish, estar dispuesto a. In this case, willingness to pay. So we need to understand how much people can pay for a product. That's why we say that it doesn't have to be that much or that low. Okay, and the other one says industry trends. What is trends? Anybody knows? A tendencia. Very good. Trends is una tendencia. The difference with trends and tendency, again, is the tendency is uh, used as a verb and trend is like a noun. So you are describing something. And industry or legal constraints. Do you remember what is constraints? We checked that yesterday, but we can remember today. Como restricciones, industria or legal constraints. Very good. So that is it. So legal barriers that we can or not do. So anything like that. So those are external factors. There can be a lot of external factors and a lot of internal factors that we need to analyze. Uh, so we can set a good pricing for a product. Any questions here? Yes, just to check, the, mm -hmm. this is external factor is around the product, mm -hmm. competitors, target market behavior, and willingness to pay in those industry trends and industry or legal constraints. But the other factors, teacher, I don't know. Uh, for example, the environment, a civil war, the COVID pandemic. Uh, for me, this is the other external factors. Yeah, definitely. Those are also external factors. So sometimes, yeah, for example, what you say, the pandemic, right? The pandemic uh, impacted not only the price, the whole company sometimes. Uh, as we discussed before, some companies, they had to close their business. And some other companies, they get prosper. I mean, in mind the the companies that they create the masks, right? Uh, I mean, they, yeah, they were very happy about that one. I mean, they not happy about people getting sick, but they're happy because they sold a lot of masks. The, he the health industry. Exactly. I remember, I remember that the price of the masks increased a lot suddenly, right? Because of the pandemic. So yes, all those are external factors. Some of those, are things that you can analyze, that you can uh, consider it. But some of the other, uh, we cannot. So sometimes it's, uh, they are things that happens and we don't know that they are. Uh, so that is it. Uh, good, any other comments or opinion? Okay, so. Pricing issues. Let's move on with this one. Jose Alfredo, could you please have me reading here? The dog wants to participate. Okay. Okay, okay. Pricing issues. Uh, correct pronunciation, teacher, issues? Yes, issues, yeah. Pricing issues. In business, there are often gray areas that may seem simple. 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 Seems simple, but but are often difficult to grasp. Some issues such as minimum wage, worker benefit, and safe work environment are easy to understand. Other such or pricing strategies can sometimes become but boring and difficult to jump that judge on at ethical scope. Very good, perfect. A lot of words here. This is interesting. So pricing issues. In uh, well, first of all, what is issues? Do you remember what is issues? I'm sorry. Uh, we can hear you. I can hear you. I don't know.
Okay. Anyways, uh, pricing issues. Issues is like problemas, situaciones, right? So that we can get. So it says in business, there are often gray areas that may seem, uh, you know what is gray, right? Gray is like color. So sometimes it's not white or black. Sometimes you need to analyze more. Detail. So gray areas that may seem simple. What is seem? Everybody knows what is seem? Parece. Parece. It seems it's going to rain to say that. It's going to, by the way, it's going to rain. Simple, but are often difficult to address. To address. What is that? Okay, this is something that we use uh, very common in this context. Okay, here address is not direction, right? To address, when you say, for example, I have a problem that I have to address. I have a situation that I have to address. What you are trying to say is that you have to face a situation. You have to fix something, okay? In Spanish, um, I don't know how to explain that one. In, in this line, for example, is something like, uh, pero son uh, frecuentemente difíciles de de manejar something like that de de arreglar something like that so direccionar no direccionar arreglar o uh, solucionar solucionar something like that so for example if you in general you can say I have to add something to it so that means that you have to fix something that you have a situation that you need to to find the solution that is that is to address, and it's very common to use that in, in, actually in this way. Okay, and then it says some issues such as what is such as, my friends. Okay, such as is tales como, right? In this case, of course such as uh, minimum wage. What is minimum wage? Anybody knows? Como salario. Salario ah, mínimo. Very good. That is it. the minimum wage. What is this? the minimum wage here in Salvador? Do you know? 365. 365 and something else, right? Yeah, not that bad. Not that good, I mean. Uh, 300. Then, 365. Yeah. I don't remember, but the government announcement i i don't know one years ago the the minimum wage wage uh, is is the four forty hundred dollars no no it's, it's still 365 yeah okay good perfect okay so and then it says uh, minimum wage worker benefits and safe work environment are easy to understand. Others, such as pricing strategies, can sometimes become quite blurry. Okay, for first of all, what is quiet? Quiet in this case is bastante. And blurry, what is blurry? Es como bor eh, no borrosa, sino que como eh, que no se entiende, un poco confuso. Exactly, that is blurry. Blur so uh, that's what it says here. Uh, let me just finish and then we're going to check. And difficult to judge. What is judge? Es como difícil de juzgar. Pero, no es, pero ahí como no juzgar, sino que como, como, como entender o como determinar. It can be judged in this way. Yeah, puede ser juzgar en este, en este aspecto. It's possible, mm -hmm. yeah. On an ethical scale. So, it says something very interesting. Some issues such as minimum wage, worker benefits, and safe work environment are easy to understand. 
all their researches, pricing strategies can sometimes become quite blurry and difficult to judge on an ethical scale. Uh, yeah, I mean, set pricing sometimes is difficult. I mean, it's difficult because people sometimes they perceive that the price that they are paying for a service that is basic or something that you really need uh, is too much. For example, the internet connection. Uh, I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we do, didn't have to pay for internet because we don't have that one, right? Now you have to pay for that service. And it's not cheap. I mean, 30, 40, 50 dollars every month is a lot of money. Uh, but the costs that the companies have for internet e industry is very low. So some people they get not happy about paying a lot of a lot of money about this. So things like that one they don't understand. But since this is a company, I mean that happens, right? So we need just to, to pay for the price and that's it. A lot of new vocabulary here. Uh, any questions on pronunciation or any questions in general? How do you say teacher quite blurry? Quite blurry. Blurry, okay. Quite blurry. blurry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Not to check. Oh, good. So let's go to the other one. So let's see. This is going to be for Carla Alejandra. Okay, teacher. So there are legal measures in place to prevent unethical pricing methods. There are many areas not controlled by laws that can non nonetheless create negative situations for buyers. For example, misleading promotional campaigns or the use of harmful or low quality materials can lead to incorrect buying decisions. It is often impossible to prove that a misstep by a company is deliberate or not. These gray areas can be entered upon accidentally by a company as well. Some of these gray areas to watch out for are, for are. Very good, perfect. So. Uh, here is a more, more explanation about this part, right? It says, though there are legal measures in place to prevent unethical pricing methods. Uh, let's start with measure. What is measure? Medida. Medida. Very good. So, though there are, exist legal measures, uh, so the government, they protect sometimes people so the, the companies, they don't abuse and set prices that are too high uh, in place to prevent unethical pricing methods. So unethical, of course, is the opposite of ethical. And uh, there, are, there are different laws in different countries that they prevent companies to be abusive when they charge the prices. C Centro uh, del Consumidor. Yeah, here in El Salvador, it's, it's something like that. So you can go there. And actually they act, they do things. So that is a, an interesting thing. There are many areas not controlled by laws that can nonetheless, uh, what is nonetheless, anybody knows? I don't know. Okay, nonetheless is sin embargo. Okay, can nonetheless create negative situations for yeah. buyers. So okay. yes. Nonetheless. Nonetheless, yeah. So yes, even when we have uh, the government protecting people, yeah, sometimes there are problems. Right? There are problems with charges or with many things. And this is, for example, misleading. What is misleading? Misleading. 
misleading, yeah. Okay, misleading is like algo engañoso. When you say, when, when the company says, we're going to give you this, but when you pay for the product or the service, it's, it's not. If the quality is less or the product is different. Uh, or there are secret or hidden charges. So uh, this is... It's like a national lottery. Uh, and how is that? Can you please tell us? Misleading, promotional. Never win, teacher. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's <laughs> difficult to win the lottery here at Southern. I, I don't know anybody. I mean, never buy it, call it. And teacher. Yeah, I, I never buy it out, to be honest with you. I prefer uh, to do something okay, different. For example, is uh, uh, publicity uh, misleading is the uh, the camera on come here is uh, the uh, the breakfast in the meeting y después empiezan a quererle vender a, a la fuerza a alguien productos mm -hmm. una publicidad engañosa para ver si lo atrapan con una trampa entonces le dicen no tiene que agarrar un paquete y ahí le dieron una publicidad engañosa de que se ganó una estadía pero pero en realidad no era para eso. Es, es mes, mis selling. Exactly. That oh, is credit card. Uh, yeah, yeah, credit card. Yeah, credit card. Yo caí una vez. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> That happens. We need to be so, very welcome. careful. <laughs> so, yes. I mean, uh, one of the most common examples on this one are uh, the hamburgers, right? In the commercials, you see the hamburger that is very big, very nice. Uh, but when you go and buy a hamburger in McDonald's, I mean, you say, what? It's, yeah, it's very small. and uh, Yeah, it's good, right? I mean, it's good enough, but it's not like the commercial. Right? The commercial is, is amazing, right? You can see that one and you, you want to buy a hamburger. That is mistake. Uh, or in the banks, right? For example, when you uh, go and get a credit uh, a loan, sometimes there are a lot of clauses and we never read those, ones, right? You just sign the paper mm -hmm. and then oh, they yeah. say, you have to pay for this and pay for this. And you say, what? I didn't know this. A little so, letter. Yeah, small letters. So those small are important letter, to <laughs> So all those things are misleading. And that's why, uh, I mean, the companies, they want to, to get a lot of customers. And that's why sometimes, because uh, there is no restriction on the law, uh, they try to, to do some misleading promotional campaigns. Uh, it's not correct, but they do it, right? And then it says, or the use of harmful. What is harmful? I'm sorry. Okay, harmful is dañino. Okay, so harmful or low quality materials can lead to incorrect buying decisions. So, yeah, I mean, for example, a long, long time ago, I remember that in the cigarettes, Uh, you can buy the cigarette and that's it, right? Now in the cigarettes, in the box, uh, there is an advertisement that says, this is dangerous. It can cause cancer and you could die. I mean, if I see something like that in a product, of course, I don't buy it, right? People continue buying that one because that is another topic. But, uh, yeah, For they example, need to the cigarette. Exactly. And there are well, many no. things. <laughs> oh, okay. that's something different. <laughs> no, <laughs> different. <laughs> All right. So, um, I mean, sometimes this is very, very, very difficult. I mean, because I mean, sometimes they they present something that is not true, but sometimes also they don't say something that they know. This is very common in the company. They know that the product is dangerous, but they don't say anything. 
So people continue buying that. A very good example of that is uh, are the pants. Do you know what is pan? In English, of course, not Spanish. Pan. Mm, cacerolas. Cacerolas. So pan, the most common pan material is the flown, right? Those one. In the United States, they don't sell that product anymore because they check that it causes cancer. The problem is that in Latin America, in El Salvador, for example, they don't say that. And you continue buying that one. I mean, if you want a pan, any kind of pan, uh, you buy that one and, and you say, I want one of the flown, right? Because those are very good. Because we don't know that. So they keep the secret. But that is dangerous, right? So uh, that is also unethical. The company should say, this is dangerous. If you want to buy it, it's your decision. Right? But they don't say that. So these are the gray areas that we are discussing here. Sometimes uh, they know, they know that you are going to get some health problems. Like the vegetables. I mean, vegetables sometimes uh, they use pesticides, right? That are dangerous for, for people. So their obligation is to say to you, hey, we use this pesticide on this product. And so, I mean, there are many things. In food, my friends, oh my goodness, in food, we are eating a lot of bad things. The problem is that, I mean, it's impossible for us to have our chickens there in the garden, right? Or our vegetables, uh, that is impossible. So we have to continue eating. But it's a big problem. The food industry, a lot of problems are going on. And that cause that when you are 50, 60 years old, you have health problems because eating all your life, these things are going to cause an impact on your health. The problem is that companies, they don't say it. And that is unethical. And the government, they don't do anything about that. Sometimes in the United States and other countries, yes, well, here in Salvador, I mean, almost never, right? So, and on the second paragraph, it says, uh, it is something impossible to prove. What is proof? Probar. Probar, very good. Uh, that a misstep, what is misstep? Como pasos en falso. Very good. So, it is often impossible to prove that a misstep by a company is deliberate or not. So, uh -huh. Como para eh, no equivocarse, no. Yeah, the problem is like, it's very difficult. Uh, imagine, imagine that there is a scandal for a product. Okay? Imagine that, I don't know. Uh, we uh, is is known. I don't know by somebody that uh, the cell phones are dangerous for you. Okay, all the cell phones. Well, falso falso. Uh, something like that. Yeah, that is mistake. Yeah. So it's it's very difficult because the company almost always they come and say, "Oh, I didn't know. I made a product, but I didn't know that it was dangerous." Okay. And the government starts an investigation, but it's very difficult because uh, we don't know if the companies know, right? Of course, they have to test, they have to do some research, uh, but they almost never are going to say, ah, oh, yes, it's true. Uh, I knew that this was dangerous. No, they say, uh, we didn't know that this was dangerous. So that is another problem. And then it says, these gray areas can be entered upon accidentally by a company as well. Some of these gray areas to watch out for are, and we're going to see some examples in the next slide. Uh, do you have any questions here, this slide? Uh, 
Perfect, no question. So let's move on. So the first one is price fixing. Let's see. Um, Ana Veronica, help me with it. Price fixing. In a competitive market, prices are often lowered to the benefit of the customer if the competitors were to get together and decide to sell at a fixed price. It could mean more expensive products for the user and more benefits for the company. It, it is there, therefore a good idea for a company to study the competition and the market, but not to enter a rhythm to the detriment of the customer. Very good. So this is one of the uh, problems, a uh, price fixing. A price that is always the same is something that for all the uh, consumers is not good. I mean, because, I mean, the, the, um, the income sometimes is different or, or the cost for them is different. So it shouldn't be that way. Let's check. It says, in a competitive market, prices are often lowered to the benefit of the consumer. So the competition... Uh, it's good because they want all the customers and they want uh, and a strategy that they do is to to decrease the pricing so everybody is able to to get that one right and and then it says if these competitors were to get together and decide to sell a, at a fixed price it would mean more expensive products for the user and more benefits for the company so that is the real problem with fixed pricing, uh, that the company is going to get a lot of profits and the consumer is going to pay more. It is therefore a good idea for a company to study the competition and the market, but not to enter agreements to the detriment of the consumer. What is agreements, anybody? Acuerdos. Very good. And what is uh, detriment? Detrimento. Yeah. That is it. Detrimento. So lying. And what is therefore? Okay. Therefore is por lo tanto. Okay, so yeah, this is one of the biggest things that happens and it's very common nowadays. I mean, fixed prices are here to stay, right? This is something that actually that is the most common. Um, an example of this one is this. In mind that the gasoline increases the prices. It gets $5. Then uh, almost always all the other products start to increase their price. I don't know, the cheese, the eggs, the beans, they increase the price. But then in three months, the gasoline decreases the pricing. But the cheese and the eggs and the beans, they don't decrease the price. They continue fixed. And what happens in, in the future, again, the gasoline increases the price to $5 an inch. Again, the eggs and the beans and the cheese, they increase the price. So it shouldn't be that way, right? So this is one of the biggest problems that we have when uh, fixing, when we have this kind of price fix. Uh, do you have any questions about this? No. Okay. Not the chart. Good, let's go to the next. Price discrimination. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jonathan, is it possible for you to read? Not possible. Uh, Oseas, is it possible for you to read? Of course. Price discrimination. When the same product is sold at different prices to different sets of consumers. 
it is called price discrimination. This is a tricky category as uh, special offers for seniors and children are acceptable while presenting only high cost options to higher income consumers may not be well received. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, received. Okay, so price discrimination, this is another thing, right? When the same product is sold at different prices to different sets of consumers. We discussed that, right? So if you go to a fancy bar, uh, soda is very expensive. If you go to the tiny store, a soda is, is less expensive. So it is called price discrimination. This is a tricky category. What is tricky, my friends? Truco. Uh, truco. So it's tricky, it's not that clear, right? As a special offers for seniors and children are acceptable while presenting only high cost options to higher income consumers may not be well received. So yes, yeah, sometimes, uh, I don't know, all people they can get, uh, or elderly people, they can get discounts. Uh, and some other people, they might say, this is not good for, for me, right? But this is very common. Uh, the good thing about this one is that the most common is that they get offers, right? Uh, and not the other way around. Let me see if there is any other thing. Mm, no, I don't see any. Do you have any questions in here? Not uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, pronunciation the try is a try try key or try 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 key. Uh, I'm sorry, which one? This is a try uh, uh, second part. Yeah, this is a tricky, tricky category. Uh, tri tricky, tricky, yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, my friends? For me, not the channel. Very what, good. Uh, what is the uh, higher? Higher. Uh, let me see with several people. High cost. This high cost? Mm -hmm. Oh, higher. I yeah, higher. 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 Good. High yeah, so that's that's it, right? Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is about distribution channels and intermediaries. But before that one, uh, we're going to do a uh, pair work. Let me just go here. Okay, so we were discussing tonight about uh, situations. I mean, situations that sometimes companies have right? some products that are are not good or are dangerous or they keep secrets uh, or they use harmful materials or the price is not good so what we're going to do is to do our research okay i'm going to set you in in groups okay we're going to do a breakout rooms and you are going to try to find to research for a scandal of a product or service that was dangerous and that the government put that in public eye and, and, and the company was in not in a good position, okay? And then you are going to tell the class about that. Yeah, is it clear what you are going to do? Can you repeat, please? Definitely, okay. In groups, you are going to research, you are going to investigate. What you are going to investigate is about scandals, about a product or service that they were doing something bad, okay, with their product or services to the public. And that uh, they, uh, the company at the end was in bad position. And they have to say, yeah, I'm sorry, we did something bad. And then you are going to present your research to the class. Se va a buscar entonces un producto o servicio que fue un escándalo porque el producto no era bueno, causó daños, era defectuoso, causó algún algo, 
y que al final la compañía tuvo que disculparse, retirar el producto o algo por el estilo. And you are going to present that to the press. Any questions? No, teacher. The, the example or the, or the, or the research, uh, it depends is national or international case. It can be whatever you want. Whatever. Oh, okay. yeah. Ahí, ¿Nos da permiso ahí para poder compartir la, la pantalla? Of course, of course. I'm going to do that right now. Let me just check here. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, I did it. Okay, I'm going to create the rooms and let's work in that one. Okay, let me just check here. Here we go.
Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi. Can you listen to me?
Okay, very good. So, I really want to listen to you. Nice. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start with the first one that is Jose Alfredo and Blanca Tumac. I don't know if you were able to discuss. I don't know if you check some. Uh, next group teacher, porque no, eh, después de ese grupo, porque tengo un problemita aquí que no me da. Okay, no problem. So the next one is Ernesto Andrade, Carla Alejandra, and Silvia Patricia. Okay, teacher. Uh, can I show the, the brief presentation, teacher? Of course. Okay. And... Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, the group uh, research in the internet uh, the scandal product, uh, and I found I found we found a product uh, in Canada, but uh, Carla uh, to start to explain the context in the situation for this product. Okay. Uh, Carla, go, go, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, um, a few months ago, I watched a documentary film about a product was removed from the market, um, dry shampoo from Dove. And uh, the company uh, sent emails to the consumers and tell them that they have to stop using this um, this dry shampoo because the that shampoo um, contain a chemical i no sé cómo se dice en inglés teacher pero es benceno benzina uh -huh. and that chemical can cause cancer so um, people receive that email and and stop using that product. But this same product is sent to Latin America and people still using this this product. And like in Latin America, and we don't have filters and people don't have the same information and the companies don't sell emails to tell that we have used and maybe many people is, is using this product. So um, that's the scandal that I hear and with my, uh, with Ernesto and Silvia found too. So okay. Ernesto or Silvia, creo que continue. Okay, yes. Uh, the first product we manufactured in 2021. The product removed into the dry shampoo and the dry shampoo, fresh coconut nexus dry shampoo, mist and suave professional dry shampoo and revive. This is the product that affect for for this chemical. Okay, very good. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. And you are right. I mean, in other countries, they really care about people, right? And they they tell them. But here, I mean, since nobody knows, you continue using the same products. Yes. Yes, teacher. But the, the, the benzene is a human can, cancerigen, cancer. Yeah. Uh, if exposure to benzene can occur by uh, in healthy, by mounds and in throat, the skin and can lead to cancer and such a 
leukemia, leucemia, yeah. and blood cancer according to the recall notice. Very good. Perfect. Interesting. So let's be careful on these products, my friend. Very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Um, Jose Alfredo and uh, Blanca is, are you, okay, go ahead. You can see, yeah. Okay. Okay, good evening, partners. Um, uh, we take uh, liquid baths so, as a product, and I will tell you a little about the scum. <laughs> um, during and two founder and uh, El, el año no me recuerdo cómo se lee, teacher. Okay. Eh, por 2017. Parte de okay. 2017. Eh, the dog brand mm -hmm. was uh, looking to promote is the new body, a eh, body wash. Eh, but it did so in the less appropriate way eh, with one of the, mm -hmm. the world LBC co companies in the world. The Procedure was a uh, follow. They released a gift a uh, Facebook with various models take of their share, after which a different person appears. Up uh, uh, to that point, it, it didn't uh, appear to be a failed, a failed, a failed L. Uh, however, the problem is the that and and Afro. This and that woman is transforming into a, a cozy woman of, uh, after using the, the, the brands a new product. In, implicitly, is the place with the notion of, of before versus uh, after by putting in the Afro woman first and the, the white woman. So why this uh, advertising failure you can make it seem that they're dirty or they dirty is clean and white. After using the, the soap, uh, I thought the gift is super short. Only the second one necessary to generate negative reaction with their uh, the company on social media. The audience accused the brand of being rac racist and it had to remove the, publica the publication of the file. Very good, perfect. So this is a very nice thing because it's about the advertising, right? The product was good, but yes, I mean, nowadays we need to be very careful about being racist or to offend other people. I believe this is valid. Sometimes it's not valid, but in this one, yes, I mean, uh, that happens a lot. So very good, perfect. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're gonna listen to Anna, Veronica, Maria, Julia, and Rene Molina. A María Julia creo que se le fue el internet. No, ahí está. Acá está. Ah, no, ya la vi. Ya la vi. Ok, no, no, ahí está, ahorita vamos. Ok, no problem. Good evening, class. This time we are investigating the case of the record batteries. This emblematic case of lead uh, contamination began with a complaint at the end of the 1990. After several parents publicly denounced the damage of their children's health, 
the record batteries plant generate industrial foam during the battery manufacturing process, which left many victims in the community. Sorry. ¿Y cuál estaba leyendo la niña? Esa era mi parte. Ya estuvo, ahora va a la juez. Ah, pues da. Ok. Era al revés, entonces. Next. Okay. No problem, go ahead. <risa> eh, ese era. Sí, la vi. La, ah, era la, al sí, revés. Sí. La sí. víctima the month of use extradition estradi of the niche, no quiero decir, the family, the family fugitivos in the city of the niño case, inhabitant in, in of the city of the niño offer, affected by the lead contamination caused by the batteries record arrivate to at the use in basic to demand the extradition of the three positive executive when the by the Salvador Salvador Salvadorian justice justice and refugees in the United States. This is a this is a in between in the two thousand Zero zero three and two thousand zero zero four. The first uh, environment and, and health problem of the habitants occurring in uh, the the chi the children is a uh, got stick very frequently with body pains. Their higher field Out and there were many health problems, etc. Okay. And 195 and the compensation for mockery says the smile is the compensation yeah. for the for the one family. Uh, 195 is the compensation for each person affected for the case of the record battery. The sentencing, sentencing court of Santa Tecla acquired the three former employees for the, of the Bateria El Salvador factory for the crime of negligence insured, insured to the, the Detriment of the uh, inhabitants of the city of Nino in San Juan of Pico, La Libertad, they will only have to pay $195.31 to the uh, is it 1,100,000 people affected. In total, the money pays the, the batteries. Uh, ella es no me acuerdo cómo se dice. 2214,000. Okay. Yeah. Like the case uh, of the record batteries in different countries, there are always cases of companies sued for, for malpractice to affecting consumers in our opinion governments should try and tighten the lays to prevent consumer for behind affected. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. This is a, a, a nice one. This is a national one. And it was very fair. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Okay. Now we will listen to Jennifer, Juan Roberto, and Veronica. Okay. 
Okay, uh, my group uh, was talking about the powder, uh, baby powder, Johnson and Johnson. Okay. That was a candle uh, since 20, 2020. Uh, they uh, bajar, como se dice, bajo ventas. Uh, decreasing sales. The crisis uh, since 2020, and 20, but they have, they don't have a good resolu resolution. In 2023, they, uh, they don't have any product around the world because the product has, um, has a, as well too, is a key, uh, is a uh, chemical, chem chemical, uh, chemical, uh, produce, produce a uh, uh, cancer in on the skin, the persons. What's that? The term. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. So, yeah, I remember that one as well. That was uh, the baby powder. So, not good, not good at the skin babies. Very good. The last group is Eric Oseas and Victor Eduardo. Okay, I found a uh, very interesting information in the internet. I don't know if that is true, but uh, the article said that at the beginning, Coca Cola Zero, Zero mm -hmm. uh, had an ingredient that cause cancer if you if you mm -hmm. consume a high quantity so coca-cola coca-cola said that that information wasn't true but uh, something very very rare was that one year later coca-cola uh, take off that ingredient and change their formula so i don't know but that was a uh, suspicious, sus suspicious, suspicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's it. Okay, very good, perfect. So interesting that you have found. I mean, you can see that large company they do mistakes, right? uh, and almost never they correct their mistake by themselves. Almost always, people are the one that research and do something about that. So companies, they have to do something about it. So very interesting, very good. Okay, we're going to check the attendance and then it's time to go to bed, my friends. Let me just check here. Okay. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Present. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodriguez. Um. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Yes, Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Okay, good, good. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidónica. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here, here, here. Good. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Victor, uh, Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Here. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. 
Okay, my friends. Yes, Perfect, thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in three minutes. Thank you, teacher. Rest a lot. So do you. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hello. Hello, my friends. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica.